I am going to be reading some acrostic poems by Paul po Poalili and Dan Brewer, paintings by Steve Johnson and Lou Fancher. And this is called Silver Seeds. Silver Seeds, a book of nature poems by Paul Poalili and Dan Brewer, paintings by Steve Johnson and Lou Francher. The first word is dawn. So here it gives the word and you would write the word going <clears throat> vertically and then you give a detail about the word using each letter. So down goes the moon and up comes the sun, welcoming the new day, dawn. Sun, sliding through the window, underneath the door, nudging us out to play. Shadow, silent friend, holding onto our heels and drawing our picture on the ground with black crayon. Hills, huge elephants in a row, lying low and sleeping. Trees, tiny hands reaching up from the earth, tickling an enormous sky. Leaf, loose brown parachute escaping and floating on puffs of air. B. Bzzz, echoes in our ears. Butterfly, bobbing up and down, twinkling through the air, ever so gently, roaming among the flowers, landing lightly on your shoulder. Hummingbird, hovering under the morning glories, moving back and forth on invisible wings, neatly sipping nectar, going from blossom to blossom in rapid darts and dashes. Clouds, creamy scoops of ice cream, lying out under a dreamy blue sky. Fog, folds and folds of spun sugar like a soft gray blanket over the land. Rain. Rap tap tapping at my window in drip drop notes. Moon, marvelous melon, whole or sliced, offering sweet flavor to the night. Stars, silver seeds tossed in the air and planted in the sky, reaching out of the darkness, sprouting wonder. Night. Now it is time to gather our dreams, holding them tight till tomorrow comes. And that is Silver Seeds. <clears throat> For those of my students that are tuning into this video for your homework assignment, this is uh, this book was an example of an acrostic poem or multiple acrostic poems. Um, 
Right here it says an acrostic poem uses the letters in the topic to tell about it. Write a word vertically, up and down, and write a word, phrase, or short sentence about it using each letter. So here the example is rose. And it says R, red, pink, white, or yellow. O, one of a kind. S, sharp, thorns. And E, extra special. So I think the main thing about creating an acrostic poem is using your adjectives, is really like being able to close your eyes and picture a rose and think about the way it might smell, look, feel, um, taste. Maybe not a rose, but you get my point. Use your senses. Use those adjectives, those describing words that your teachers have taught you to use in your writing and create an acrostic poem. Send it to me.